having a fever, vomiting, even a sore throat might indicate you have some kind of bug. But what are the signs and symptoms of an actual critter getting into your system? Well, our next guest knows. Check it out. It's scary to think that at one point you could live your life and then all of a sudden everything changes in a matter of like a day. Earlier this year, I came to my parents' house. It was pretty much a normal morning. Meet up with some friends to go skateboarding and next thing I know, I just stopped. One of my friends told me that I just looked kind of lost. I just remember waking up and having a headache. This is where I felt the most pain. I thought I was a little bit dehydrated, but as the night went on, it just got worse and worse and worse. My father said that he was speaking incoherently and he started to lose motor control. I just threw up everywhere. I blacked out. I was in the middle of the night and I got a phone call from my dad. My brother was in the ICU. They did a bunch of tests and x-rays. He had the swelling in his brain. He could die that night. Doctors made a cut right here and inserted a camera and they discovered that I had a parasite in my head. The tapeworm that created a cyst, there was a buildup of spinal fluid putting pressure on his brain. That's when they decided we need to operate immediately. When they took out the worm, it was still moving. It was very much alive. And I was in shock, as big as it was in his head. The scariest part is how did he get there? They told me that if I would have got there probably like 30 minutes later, then I wouldn't have made it. Please welcome Luis and his brother Daniel to the show. So, Luis, you're just going about your life and then you developed a little headache and that's how it all started. Yeah, I thought I just had a headache because I was out skateboarding in the sun. I thought I was maybe a little dehydrated and I didn't think much of it. It wasn't until like later on in the night that I that it got pretty serious. And it clearly reached a critical point because that tapeworm had been there and then at some point the symptoms came on, came on suddenly. This is something called cysticercosis for those that don't understand. And oftentimes it can happen from eating uncooked pork, mm -hmm. traveling, and you'll eat the larvae of these worms, you eat them, then they migrate into your tissues like your brain. And if not treated, can be deadly. Yeah. I mean, it's scary. Doc, is this, yeah. somebody comes in young, healthy, like Luis, altered mental status like that out of the blue, I mean, do you think of something like that? It's absolutely on the differential. This is something I learned very early on in my training. You never had headaches, right? Otherwise healthy in this bizarre presentation, you have to think about it. I know that you're still working on getting all your memory back, uh, but you're fired up for school, right? Yeah, I'm really looking forward to finishing school. Would you say he's back 100%? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I guess we don't know where he was when he started. Well, we're glad you got the right diagnosis, the right treatment, and that you're here today. Our friends at Microsoft, they're going to provide you with a Surface 3 tablet, keyboard, pen, the whole shebang. This is valued at 780 bucks to help Woo! you with all your studies, my oh, friend. Right. Good luck. Best of luck to you.